Well, guys, I got a kit for us. It's a big box. It's a big old white box. Not really. I know what kit we're building today. Big one. So yeah. What is it we're building? Well, it is a Walther's Cornerstone Kit. And I'm looking here and here we go. Drum roll please. No drum roll. All right. The modern gas station. So yes, we're building a gas station today because I need to make some money off my citizens in this, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's make some money off the, uh, people in town here. Let's make them pay out the rear end for gas, eh? Not really. I ain't gonna make them pay out the rear end for gas because these guys ain't affected by freaking gas prices. So, yeah. We're building the Walther's Cornerstone Modern Gas Station. Of course, it's an HO scale kit because I do HO scale. So, let's look at this box here and see what the heck's inside, shall we? <clears throat> Alright, guys. So, I have the uh, box here. Still got plastic on it, so let's open it up. See what we got. Got my trusty freaking hobby knife. So let's get this thing open. Now, if you are a youngin watching this video, which I hope if you are a youngin, you know what the fuck you're doing. Oh, excuse my French. Oh, said it once, I guess we can. Well, I said it one time, so PG 13. Oh, come on. And say it there. But, yeah, it's. There we go. Plastic! Oh, plastics. You gotta love them. Alright. Alright, so we can see this again. Here's your thing. Here we go. Ta da! More plastic! I'm just joking, guys. Uh, opening this bag here so we can pull everything out. So, we have a roof. Got a roof. Gonna have your roof for your gas station stuff. Uh, don't know what these parts are for. I guess outlines for the buildings and stuff. Thing. There we go. Okay, we have more roofing. Whoops, more roofing. Big old roofing. Some nice stuff. Uh, some hose thing, I guess. Some hosing. I a holzer. <laughs> if you're Canadian, I'm sorry for doing that. I just like having a little laugh. More 
concrete stuff, I guess. More structural stuff, I really don't know. Uh, stuff for what looks to be the main building. Making the main building there. That I might definitely. So this kit, guys, I'm open this. Definitely might have to paint this one because, yeah. Exterior detail stuff, nice. Got your gas pumps down here, big old gas pumps. Definitely might, so some gas pumps might definitely have to be painting those. What's this? Something. Something clear. It's something clear. It's, I guess cl some clear plastic, I guess. I can't really tell what it was. More exterior parts, it looks like. Bunch of... Oh, man, them freaking gas nozzles are tiny! Concrete padding, where you put your stuff on to. Yeah, for sure we use that side. And another thing of what looks to be concrete padding. So yeah, more concrete padding. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, some instructions and ooh decal paper we have winter circle petro yeah <laughs> I get set prices lovely so I get to set the freaking price of the gas and stuff. All right. I'm just looking at something here. <laughs> and of course, here's the smaller gas station. Another, it's another Winner's Circle Petro. This one's freaking smaller. Older, but who cares? We'll figure out something with that one too. Slam. Oh. Yeah. See, it looks like that's what we got. Uh, see, I don't know if it's decal paper or something, but... Yeah. So, I'm going to get this cleaned up, and I'm going to look at the instructions, so that way I know what the frick we're doing here. So, yeah. Hold tight while I put this stuff all away and see what we're doing. <clears throat> Alrighty guys, so let's put everything back in the box here, so uh let's read this here, so individual instructions care assembly in the main building, auto fueling island and parking lot included in this kit. As if parts for each structure are molded in various colors, spurs will include parts for more than one building. Remove parts only as needed. You may find it easier to work in stages. So, yeah. assembling and painting some parts in your yeah. You may find it easier to work in stages. Assembling and painting some parts in your corporate colors, then completing projects discarding as desired. This decals are included for two cornerstone oil companies with smaller logos for trucks, such as this. Well, tank truck with trailer sold separately. So. Does it? It does. So we have winners. So it ha actually comes with two different uh, companies. Winner Circle Petrol and Interstate Fuel and Oil. So. Lovely. 
Anyways, uh, as long as do 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 be in Washington. Come on. Combine unusual designs and bright color schemes to attract customers. Each new decade brought newer ideas from the classic box style server station of the 30s. May still standing today. Yep. Embargo of the 70s and read on me. Looking for more. Yeah, I guess. Acetate is provided for window glazing, cut each piece slightly larger than doors. Ah, that's what the frick that frick. So that's what that dang piece of plastic was. So lovely. <laughs> I'd have to get a sharper knife for that, so. Let's slot some additional back and front entrance. Okay, so basically... There. So this is basically the main building. If you see... Hang on. There we go. Okay. So, I'm going to get this started, guys. So, I have to first decide what we're doing first. But actually, before we start, let's talk some paint. So, yeah. Move this here, and we're going to take a quick break. So, I will. Be right back. Alrighty, guys. So, I want to talk some paint real quick. So, uh, I have basically three different types of paint here. Uh, I mean, I do have some. I mean, this is Tester's enamel paint. Uh, don't know if we'll use the enamel paint because my dad bought that a long time ago. He was using it, but. You really didn't use it a lot, it's been, and it has not been used in a long time, so I'm pretty sure we're not using frickin' enamel paint. Oh, uh, we have, of course, paint markers. Lovely paint markers. I love myself some paint markers. Yeah. And I have some just regular acrylic paints here. Uh, this one is Americana acrylic paint. Color, graphite. Yeah. Graphite. Hang on. Whoops. Graphite, there. Sometimes I forget that thing adjusted. So yeah, I mean I have, I mean I have other colors here too. We're I mean, not bigger bottles too. It's different paint. Uh, hang on. Yes, we're rolling, rolling, rolling. So yeah, I have tempera paint or whatever the fudge this stuff is. Yeah, tempera paint. Freaking school sent it. Uh, funny enough, that's what I freaking used on the mountain here. Uh, I mixed, I think, some tempera. Yeah, I used tempera paint on the uh, mountain here. That's why the uh, freaking green here, like, that's why there's not a lot of green here. I freaking used like a lot of it on this mountain. I don't know why, I think I used graphite on it too. 
I feel like you, I don't know what I freaking did, did from that in the early day in video type it. Of course you can see these clusters, uh, stuff. But we're not here to talk about the mountain, we're here to talk, talk paints and kits. Kits. So yeah. Uh, colors. Yeah. Oh, I better mix this one up. Hang on. It's starting to separate. So. You can tell I use like a lot of graphite because it shakes more. So we have cadmium, cadmium yellow, true blue, and some primary red, and of course paint markers. So yeah. So I need to freaking figure out. Okay, so. I first need to figure out, okay, what company are we going to do? Winter's Circle Petro or Interstate Fuel and Oil? Because that will dictate paint scheme. So, Winter's Circle Petro, uh, what they do? They did Winter's Circle Thou. Yeah, so they did Winner's Circle, uh, pretty sure if I do Winner's Circle, I might do something different from theirs. So I might do like a brick red or something. So yeah, if we do Winner's Circle, I can probably guarantee the, uh, paint scheme is going to probably be primarily red. If I do Interstate, it's probably going to be primarily yellow. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, so yeah, I'll freaking figure that out while we get this thing done. So, yeah, I'm going to, while we let that, while I decide, uh, yeah. So, I want to decide what to do, and I'm going to start getting these parts cut out so we can get something done. So, yeah. See you whenever our decisions are done being made. Okay guys, uh, a little bit of an update here. Uh, so, I have our parts for basically step one cut out. As you can see, these are all the parts needed for step one. Gray for accessory, the brick looking stuff is for the actual building itself, the outline. And, uh, good news. I have figured out the business we'll be going with, and that is Interstate Fuel and Oil. I decided to go with Interstate Fuel and Oil because Winter Circle Petrol, well, I already have a Winter Circle Petrol kit. So I'm like, well, do you want two, two of the same business or not? Well, I'm like, no, I want a little bit of competition. So, what we, what I did was, of course, went with Interstate. So, that, of course, means we're going with a yellow color scheme. I also forgot to mention I have a snow titanium white. So, yeah. We'll paint the, I think, I'll paint, I think I'm going to paint the axe, these gray parts. I think they're going to be painted white because I think white would look good. And I might paint the brick some yellow. So, yeah. So, yeah, I think we're going to have a little bit of fun uh, building, building this kit. So, yeah, once I let the paint freaking dry, of course, uh start putting stuff together. So yeah, of course. 
It's not the first side. Okay, which side do you want? So that side, that, that side's showing. So we're going to paint the detailed sides. Might have to fix the nips up a little bit here. Uh, sorry, here, just looking, guys. Trying to fix. Try to look at stuff here. Uh, I'm gonna get to work with this. So yeah. Well, we get to work here. Uh, I'll then build it. So yeah, let's let's build us a gas station. Okay, guys, we got uh, everything done here. I uh, I have all these parts painted. I don't know how long it took. Thirty minutes, maybe an hour. I don't freaking know. I don't care to know. So yeah, accessory parts are painted white, as you can see. Uh, guess I have a glove on because I'm getting ready to glue this stuff. But as you can see, a two-tone color, yellow brick with some brick-colored accent brick. So yeah, uh, I'm going to now put this together, guys, and I'll show you what we have whenever we have this done. So, see you when everything's together. All right, guys and girls, whoever's watching. Or, yeah, let's that. Okay, what we have done so far is the main building. This is it done so far. Now, I'm not going to touch it because I have to let this thing dry, but whenever it's done drying, I'll show you what it looks like here, but so far we have a uh, yellow paint scheme, which is what I want because we are going with interstate fuel and oil. I want the yellow because they, they have, the inter they, what they chose is like a yellow, so I chose a yellow. Now it may be a brighter yellow than what's on the uh, decal, but I can't help that, guys. So, yeah. That's what we have so far. You know, if you know what we are, that all the time was building that. That's all we are building right there. Is that. We're building that. That's what that building is right there. We're just looking at the front. This is the back, so... I'm going to continue working on this, so, yeah, I'll let you guys know when uh, something else happens. Alright guys, so, uh, this is what we have so far, so, uh, here's the building. <laughs> Finally, here's the building here, there's the, uh, that's what it looks like, with its paint scheme and stuff. It's a little wonky, but it'll happen, so yeah. There's the paint scheme, yellow and the brick color. Uh, here's the roof. I've just freshly glued this thing. There's some detail in there. And this is the uh, concrete pad, so this is what the... Uh, pumps will sit on. So, yeah. Let's continue trucking on through this thing and hopefully have a finished gas station. So yeah, guys. Uh, I'll continue going on. Uh, see how much of this we get done. And I'll get back to you guys when more is done. <coughs> Alrighty guys, uh, on 20 again. Uh, so I took a little break and wanted to let everything set, uh, just working on some smaller details right now, uh, right now I'm working on the actual pumps, which is right here, uh, I put the little, I just put the concrete posts in to this thing, uh, let me, Show you here. <sighs> A 
concrete post. The, those the concrete posts are the things that are topped with the red. That I put. I just put those in. So yeah, that's freaking pain. Had to use a pair of pliers. That's why the pair of pliers are there. Not pulling. Not pulling teeth. All right. I'm not pulling teeth. I'm not pulling anything. I'm just had to set them because I didn't want to get the gloves dirty or get the gloves all painty and stuff. And I didn't want to. I don't want to paint them on because if you paint if you paint them while they're on, while you glue them, and then you paint them while well, red the red paint will probably get on everything. So I don't want that. So I just use pliers to help set them. So anyways, uh, crap. Yeah, got a nice little uh, sign going on here. So uh, and I'm gonna continue working on the uh, pumps pump area here and I'll get back to you guys when I have more done and something cooked up here so yep uh, give me a few minutes and uh, we'll see where we're at <clears throat> alright guys so this is pretty much the entire kit built honestly the entire thing built honestly because yeah uh, so you have your pumps pumps right here big old concrete pad uh, spot to glue the roof on sign it's gonna be a little sign There. There's the sign. I'll get a decal on it. Uh, yeah, sign, roof, and then of course, building, gas yeah, station itself. So, going to let everything sit up, let everything harden, solidify, so that way everything is perfect, and yeah, I'm going to then hopefully apply decals to this later, after everything's hardened, so yeah, uh, let's let everything harden, and yeah, good to go later on so see ya after decals are applied I guess <clears throat> well guys I got some decaling done for ya uh, got this sign here ooh there there we go some cheap gas eh about three bucks a gallon. Yeah. Regular, yeah, two three two nine. Yeah. Cheap gas. Yeah. yeah, I love it. There we go. Yeah. Uh other side's blank because uh yeah. The ding the ding ding dang decal decided, hey, I'm going to tear. Putting it on she decided to tear, so I think I left that one soak a little too long. I don't know. But, oh, it's the first time doing decals for me. I say I did a pretty freaking good job, alright? Uh, and of course, since it's interstate, I did put the big decal on it, so that way we know it's an interstate, uh, interstate uh, gas station. And yeah, decals. Uh, I'll figure out what to do with the freaking decal sheets. 
Yeah, I'll figure something out to do with them, guys. So, yeah, it looks like I'll have some stuff to be working on, guys. So, uh, I'm gonna get, guess, to finish our uh, video off, I'm not gonna put everything together. Yeah, I'm gonna put everything together, guys. Yeah, so I'm gonna put everything together. Sorry, look at the cat. Yeah, I'm gonna put everything together so that we have a functioning gas station, and I'll show you the complete product. So yay, let's get her done. Yep, get her done. So let's. I'm going to finish up here, and I'll show you our progress when I'm done. <clears throat> Well, there she is, guys. There is our gas station. So if we zoom out, voila. That's where it sits. It sits right there. You know, Cripple Creek, Crust Street from Cripple Creek is our uh, interstate fuel and oil. So yay. So that's good. Now I can start staging some cars in there, but I ain't gonna do that tonight because glue's gotta dry. I am not gonna be messing around with the uh, building again tonight. Yeah, guys, that is uh. What we got? Sorry, I'm calling over here because I gotta fix something. Yeah, that is primarily what we actually got here. Uh, layout. So yeah, that roughly took a took maybe 12 hours to build that with the brakes and stuff because I did take that long break to let everything set. Hey guys, that is the uh, that is our uh, gas station. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed our build of the gas station. Specifically, I hope you enjoyed the build of the Walther's Cornerstone Modern Gas Station. Now, if you now if you have this kit, uh, uh, you can go to town on your kit. Of uh, course. You don't have to use uh, the provided uh, logos. You can actually create your, you can do your own logos if you truly wanted to. In fact, you could probably turn this into a Snoko if you truly wanted to. That's what I was originally going to do, but I said no because, well, I just don't, I just didn't do it. Yeah, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed uh, our build of the cornerstone kit drop a like drop a comment uh, and don't forget to subscribe so uh, yeah this is train fan 120 signing off and I will see you on down the line. Who knows, maybe I'll see you in the roundhouse tonight. Again, hey buddy. Train for 120 sign off. Hope you enjoyed. And every and well, as always everybody, take care and stay safe.